Hi, I'm Thomas, and by now you're probably wondering who the fat kid is who's getting mugged right now. Well, that fat kid is me. <laughs> I'm usually a bit of a loner, and I don't really do much. That's why I'm fat. But everything kind of changed once I saw her. Yep, and now I'm about ready to make a fool out of myself. Hi. Hi, my, my name is Thomas. Hi, I'm you're, Leah. You're, you're really hot. <laughs> uh, Thanks. It's 10 on 3. Okay. Uh, okay. So, after that, I went back to my friends, the only friends that I had, and I asked for some advice. Well, they told me I needed to use my swagger. And after that failed, I just talked to her. We actually became really good friends. My friend Anthony came up with one really good idea. But maybe if you bother a horse. Uh, the next day. Babe, I have a surprise. What is it? I got you a horse. Is it black? No, it's white. Little did I know, my friends really didn't pay attention to anything that she said when they asked her about what kind of horse she wanted. I'm winning. Well, where do I even start? I really like horses. I like black ones, I like gray ones. I even like the ones with black stripes because those are really cool. I don't know why they call them zebras because they're definitely horses. Wait, dude, I thought you were talking about a horse. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? But I am talking about horses. Oh, sorry, you brought up zebras. Hate the Just color. Remember white. that. I hate white horses. I hate them. I want a black one. Oh no, don't sit at the other lunch table. Please don't go sit with the cool kids. What the? So, more or less, the moral of the story is A. Don't have stupid friends. And B. Just because people have good intentions doesn't mean it'll always turn out the right way. Dude, I'm wounded! <laughs>